John saw, John saw, at the glancing of the sun, he said, This is the Lamb who gave out his life, who took all away the sins of the world. This is the Lamb who gave out his life. The Danger of Fear Fear brings torments. Because of fear you kill, prepare concoction, and commit other vices. Why do people get initiated into secret societies like Ogboni, Rosicrucian Order, Freemason and De Lawrence? Is it not fear? Why do people go to native doctors? Is it not because of fear? This is punishment in itself. You spend your money, get tormented, and die. You are overshadowed with fear. The fear of living, the fear of what you will eat. Fear leads you to steal, fear leads you astray, Fear leads you to commit murder and other abominable acts. Fear leads you to speak vain and vile words. Why do churches rise up now against brotherhood? Is it not fear? Fear of being overshadowed. They keep complaining about that. Where does this fear lead them to? It leads them to evil thoughts. In the same token, when you get intimate with somebody's wife, you will be frightened. This will prompt you to go to a necromancer for protective charms and means of eliminating the man so that he will not do any harm to you. When you have a court case with another person, because of the fear of being convicted and imprisoned, you indulge in the preparation of charms to kill your opponent. You may even arrange for him to be waylaid, beaten up, and shot. It is not your pleasure to get involved in these things, but fear because if the case should go through normally, you will be imprisoned. For this reason, you try all ways and means to eliminate him. This is simply the work of fear. There is no good work in you because you are engulfed with fear. People will wonder why somebody should be indebted to a person to the tune of $1,000 and turns around to poison his creditor. Do you not know what prompts him? It is fear because he has not got the money. As long as you remain alive, you will want to have your money back. Because of that fear, he poisons you so that you may die and the money issue also dead. That is fear at work. One has a wife at home and yet goes to marry another woman. The former wife will then go to prepare protective charms to consolidate her place as a wife so that she will not be sent away. Fear brings about all the atrocities and sinful acts people commit. You have come across a beautiful lady whom you wish to marry. Because you are not handsome yourself, you fear that she may not consent to your request. This fear leads you to prepare love charms to enable you win her. If you were confident and handsome, you would approach her with pride. It is not actually your love to seek for charms, but because you are desirous to have her as a wife, and because of fear you indulge in charms. Whether charm is good or bad, at that instance you are unable to discern, but fear leads you on. You have a wife and by tomorrow you throw her properties outside, telling her to go to her mother's place. Day after day you do the same thing. Because of fear of consequently being divorced, you will go and look for love charms, something to secure your position and prevent your husband from sending you packing. It is not your intention to seek for charms. It is the fear in you luring you to the act. Fear goes with torment. Why is it that when one wants to enter into a bush, he will tie a gun and a spear around his waist? Is it not fear? But you say you are a man. Why do you take the knife along? Is it not to avoid another man like you chopping off your head? Any slight noise around you will attract your attention and cause you to hold your breath. Yet you call yourself a bold man. What makes you bold? There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Fear has torments. Why all of you suffer one affliction or the other is because of fear. Fear is very great in you. You do not believe in God. Now the world is afraid of being killed by brotherhood members. It is not brotherhood members, but fear. Brotherhood is going straight and showering peace everywhere. There is no evil thing here. Only the domineering power of love exists. If a mourning house is kept somewhere, Request will be made for police guards. Why do they ask for police guards? It is because of fear. Anybody who has love does not fear. 
needs no police protection, does not go with matches or guns, does not need charms, does not hate, and does not go to hospitals. He moves and dines freely and happily among people. He neither sees nor hears nor thinks anything evil. No evil thing gets to him and he commits no sin, because he moves in the light. Contrary to this, a lot of people here move with their pistols and double barrels in order to ward off any attack of armed robbers or any sort of men. But on the other hand, somebody who has love has no problems. Brethren, it is said that a stroke of cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let he who have ears hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the whole world. May God bless His holy words. Amen. Thank you, Father. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu Compiled by George Morales those who came before him were thieves, they were robbers. He said, This is the land. Those he calls are those he has chosen.